We have all contracted the flu or a cold. The time between the exposure to somebody who has the flu and when we develop symptoms, which is usually about one week, called the incubation period. For chronic diseases like cancer, heart disease, and dementia, the time between an exposure and the onset of symptoms is called the latency period. In contrast with the short incubation period for the flu or the cold, the latency period for chronic diseases is typically 20 to 40 years. It isn't easy to plan for a disease that occurs so long after an exposure, but we won't be able to prevent the leading causes of death, like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, until we grasp the importance of the latency period. We can use malignant mesothelioma, an unusual and invariably fatal type of lung cancer caused by asbestos, to illustrate how what we do today impacts our health in the distant future. Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral with long, thin crystals that can be crushed to produce a multitude of silky filaments, which are resistant to heat and corrosion. Fifty years ago, asbestos was called the miracle mineral. Asbestos can be woven together and used in fireproof insulation, siding, flooring, and other consumer products. All asbestos is toxic and can cause cancer. Asbestos can be detected in air, soil, and drinking water, but hazardous exposures are due to human activities such as construction and renovation. When we inhale microscopic asbestos fibers, they become embedded in the lung tissue. Over time, the fibers can cause scarring and cancer. Beginning in the 1930s, many workers were regularly exposed to asbestos. The asbestos fibers, which became lodged in the lungs and other tissues, slowly stimulate the growth of cancer cells, especially in workers who smoked. In the 1960s, about 30 years after exposure started, workers in Canada started to die from malignant mesothelioma. The time from the initial exposure until workers begin to develop mesothelioma, which typically takes 15 to 40 years, is called the latency period. Because of the long latency period, the number of cases of malignant mesothelioma continued to grow, and grow even after its use was restricted in Canada. Indeed, deaths from malignant mesothelioma haven't yet peaked. We can expect thousands of more workers to die from malignant mesothelioma in the coming years. Until recently, Canada was one of the largest exporters of asbestos. The vast majority of Canadian asbestos was exported to developing countries like Bangladesh, India, and Thailand. Over the next 20 years, deaths from asbestos exposure will rise in these countries. Other pollutants with long latency periods, like tobacco smoke, lead, and traffic pollution, also cause chronic disease. Reducing these pollutants can prevent millions of deaths worldwide.